Welcome back. Welcome back to the Chinese TI qualifiers. Yeah, we can look at the bracket, what it looks like right now. The next one's gonna be IG against Azor Ray. And uh, this should be an interesting one, considering that uh, Azor Ray did manage to get a win during the DPC Tour 3, because they kind of formed for the DPC Tour 3. So I wanna see if IG is gonna be able to punch back. Bottom lane two, Emo on this Phantom Lancer against Chalice on this Lycan. We've seen a lot of Lycans go to the early, ooh, one second, PYW in some trouble. Top lane, maybe first blood for Lou, with one more right click, he'll grab it. Uh, maybe don't consider Lou as the veteran, but he come bottom. for himself. Bottom lane, we'll hold that thought for now. Yeah, QIQX looks dead on his screen already, and they're gonna bring in PYW to look for the air spike to get something going, but Emo sitting very low and the chase is on. They've got three heroes here, and PYW might have TP'd into his death. With FY getting that last hit, they've got themselves a second. And that is now, now them on top of Emo. He ran he into the trees. Anchor. He doesn't have anything to really work with. And he's just going to die here to FY, who's got a double kill. It's a 3,000 net worth lead at 4 nothing for Zure. Moving towards the mid lane and also starting to pressure tower a bit because there is still a catapult available. Ooh, the heck, Somnus is in trouble. And he doesn't have anything left on that stick, and the Arcane Curse, as well as that Flame Guard, will get the kill while FY turns around and gets PYW. They're also looking at Zeal up in the top lane. Lu and Tian Ming, they're on top of him, and they'll get another kill for the side of Azura Ray. Six to one already, and that's a kill into the Lu lane. PYW is going to pick it up. Uh, just going to Earth Spike just in case. They also bring Emo over, but a TP out. They've got the Hex. They'll stop the TP. That will give them the kill. And then we'll go to Emo, who desperately needs it. Yeah, his uh, APM is is kind of high. Net used, and they're going to use that shapeshift as well. Go for PYW. The Hex is thrown onto the Centaur to stop the Stomp. But now Chalice, body blocked for a moment by Dust. Still has some speed, but there's another hero here for IG and QIQX. Still, though, with the speed, the last word of the Arcane Curse. Not going to be enough damage to get that kill onto the Lycan, and Chalice is able to run his way out of that exchange. All Dust is out of mana, and there is a TP from QIQX, but a net thrown from FY. They'll stop that TP on the Silencer, and they'll get another kill, this time going to Somnus. Doom not as good, that doesn't uh, provide you with mute anymore, but... Should oh, they were waiting for him. That is so well done to force him back to the Remnant. They've got him with a Doom. They'll get a kill here onto Dust. Doom's still getting picked, despite the fact that its main characteristic of Doom is no longer available. Emo, they don't have Doom, but they've got Lasso, and they will control him up and get this kill all over the map. Azor Ray is just not stopped. PYW, can you find anything? Tian Ming, he's in a good spot. Does have Tumblr's toy to work with, plus also Watcher Vision. Oh, Remnant. PYW just dropped down Ops. Tumblr's toy, and that's going to be another kill. Like they have it at the same time. Manta style on TB. Razor about to finish off his BKB. Like him with the helm. And now you have Blink Dang. That was this Blink, yeah. Bubble Sounds comes down. They're going to try and go to Chalice first. And he is surrounded. They got the kill on a QIQX. But taking out Chalice. There's a lot of gold going for Emo. And it looks like they still want to fight. They've got the drums. And they've got the hex from PYW, the turnaround with the Earth Spike, but Samus is going to run in. They use the finger on the FY. Can they get that kill? Finally, not yet. These illusions are chasing while the Static League is on to the Beastman for Zeal. They use that last one to control him up. It'll be three dead on the side of IG while FY does in fact survive. There is no Global Silence, there is no Roar, there's no Beastmaster at all. So let's see, they're still underneath the vision. Yeah, fighting this seems like it's such a desperate move, but they're gonna try and go in. They use that dune, they throw it down, and now a decent stun as they'll get FY. Emo's gonna at least get himself that. But they lose the Phantom Lancer afterwards, and they're gonna use QIQX's life to really maybe try and run away from this one. And they might have to use PYW's life to at least get themselves the Ember out. The chase is on, the wolves are there, and the plasma field will not get the last hit, but it will in fact be Chalice with those wolves. The thing Tumblr's in the story. previous fight was he has only one Lasso. Anger Lasso and Doom. Dust in trouble. The flame break is there. Ember is low and Ember is gone. 
Chow's gonna pop that ult, go after Emo, he's gonna doppelganger and try and get away with the Primal War being used here, and the global silence, but they don't have the follow-up to go in on Alu. He's already used that Sunder, it's on cooldown, so he didn't have a way to really get that life back, but they just didn't have the follow-up to get more damage onto the TB, a kill they desperately needed. He was still holding the Aegis, maybe they could have killed him once and then play from there, because right now they're super fun. Let's see what Emo can do. The Fuels of Blade, yeah. do the work. Star player show off uh, ability. We've seen him kind of style on a bunch of players throughout history. They're gonna look to go in. They've got themselves the Blink, the Stun, the and the Doom. They've got the control to get Emo if they want, but they'll take the supports first to make sure that they've guaranteed this kill and all three die. And they're also going to bring in Emo. BYW's here. Blink looking for the air spike. That's going to be out of Somnus, but he's got a shield room. I don't really think they can get through that shield and then kill him. As long as they're playing carefully, they go to the Global Silence, but they need to get anything they can out of this fight. They'll get FY, so that's a start to something. Like you said, you're sensing the power of Emo, but when you lose Dust, it, it just feels like the fight's over when you've lacked that control and that aggressive play coming in from an Ember Spirit. The challenge just poked him down. There were no remnants available for Dust, and this should be another tower. Holding the Aegis Stone for 50 seconds. Also, Line Stun not connecting. They cannot mm -hmm. afford to use these abilities. Uh -oh. Thinking about the finger. Thinking, thinking about it. Thinking. Going to be farming these camps up, and they're sensing more illusions. Do they sense Emo? They're going to chase in. They've got the vision. They'll have the Doom. They've got a gem on FY to make sure that they can see him. And with the buyout, that means he's going to be 800 gold short of a buyback, so... Ooh, Primal Roar. Maybe. Chalice. It's at half health. Here comes Somnus. They use that finger to try and get the burst damage. They get the kill there on a Chalice, but they end up trading PYW. And on the bottom lane, they're taking the Tier 3 towers, so all this is just a distraction as they take out QIQX. They're going to bring down Dust as well. This might be it. They did manage to get kill on challenge. No emo. All three lanes are getting pushed in. 81 damage from Lycan, 300 from Doom, 100 from Batrider, because TB was split pushing and 5,000 <laughs> coming out from Somnus. Another lasso. Yeah, that is a big problem because you don't want to be losing the one who's going to have the control for you. and. Yeah, they've been putting him more into the safe lane. They're going to have that stun. They go to the Global Silence. They use the finger. They try to get the kill here. They'll take it the Aegis. That's just one life for now. But that has the meta on cooldown. So they'll take a PYW. They end up losing the line. He already used his burst damage of the finger. So everything that he really gave to the fight is already gone. While Chalice is taking the bottom set of racks with that tier 3 gone. They go and they look for that lasso. It's on Emo, the buyback on the line. They're gonna try and get Emo out of this one, but FY is on him. He has the Lincolns, but I don't think it's gonna matter. QIQX, he drops. That's gonna be a silencer dead. They'll lose POW again without buyback. They get the kill on a the TMing. They look over to FY. Emo's trying to take out the supports. He's got the damage to get the two of them, but now can he continue to do so? He goes and he's invis right now, trying to run away, but Zeal ends up dying again. Three here's gone without buyback. It's a triple kill for Somnus and Mega Creeps for the side of Azura Ray. Things are not uh, looking good for the rest of the team. Two supports dying almost immediately after the fight starts. And yeah, yeah. This game seems done though. It's He's a, missing a supporting cast, really. BKB, ooh, Searing Chains are gonna go in get Chalice. Okay. All right. So Big kill, 700 gold for Dust. But all five heroes here for Azure Ray looking to finish the game. They've got the Wolves onto the tier four. It'll survive with a little bit of health. The Remnant's going to be thrown forward. It actually goes to the low ground. They use the Tearaway that's going to land onto the Ember. That's going to push him away from the fight. They go into the throne. They've got the kill on a QIQX. With BKB popped by FY, they look over at Emo. Yeah, the throne's just being focused. They'll take out Zeal. Who's in frames here with the Illusions, and it's just going to be the throne going down, and Azure Ray taking game number one. We got ourselves game number two coming up against, uh, or between Azure Ray and IG. So Somnus is level six, looking to get the six minute rune, and they're gonna bring everybody in. Telekinesis is used by FY, Zeal comes in, he's got that Sprout. All these heroes here, PYW is gonna follow it up with an Impale. Somnus trying to survive in time to get the Refraction off again. Oh, walks away from this as Tia Ming's running forward with the Battery Salt. Somnus comes in with a Refraction, he'll get the kill in a QIQX, Spike Carapace. That'll hit. 
but not do enough just yet. Impel comes through, Somnus gets himself a double kill, Zeal's got a double, now they're gonna look over at FY. Do they have the damage and the chase potential while the Terrible Eight's taking the tier one over bottom? It's not looking likely, so FY's the only one to survive, but they're losing this bottom tier one tower. Who knew dying could feel so good? Chalice getting run at here. Zeal comes in and they'll go to the Starbreaker. Lands on two. Now he's going to the ult to try to survive. Gets up into the air and it will land, but he ends up dying anyway. There's the reflection. Lou coming in. Emo's going to be able to time walk away for some distance. Zeal is going to get sprouted up and killed. Wish granted. Dawnbreaker got that Urn of Shadows charge. It was Ooh, all mid. It was very close, and uh, mid does still get the kill. And dust with PYW there, and they're also going to bring Emo in and throw the Chronosphere on a Somnus. He doesn't have a refraction anymore. He's going to try and get a kill here on Emo, but the bashes are enough. And with PYW there, he's got the Mind Flare to get the kill, but Emo ends up dying a Chalice. That's a And they'll kill. take out Chalice. QIQX. Another move from Chalice. This is a big one again. He's all over the place, and they're going to find Zeal. Yeah, just break those trees up. He's got the Celestial Hammer at level four. Starbreaker lays down on top of him. And one more right click from Chalice to get the kill on the Zeal. Maybe Supernova if you can get it. And stuff from Zeus. Dust fighting against Chalice. And Chalice now has the Sunray on him. Celestial Hammer forward. Dust is low, but the Impale with the Thunder God's Wrath. Oh, PYW will get the kill. The Urn's not going to be enough damage on Dust. Wants to tank up his team a little bit, which uh, I don't mind. Not the item that we usually see. Let's see a bit of a global presence. Maybe MP wants to come. Why? There's going to be ulti for now. They're going to try and go. So let's go have a little Starbreaker. Oh, Emo dies inside his own Chrono. Oh, dear. PYW with a Spike Carapace. FY and Chalice. They will get two kills. Uh, Solar Guardian down. Gus trying to run. Zeal thinking about coming in. They're on top of them. They've got the Starbreaker, but that'll be stopped thanks to the Lightning Bolt. Still, the chase is on. Chalice is strong. A Bash might save Dust. They've got the Sprout. They'll get the kill on a Chalice. He's in too far, but everybody had to react for that one. Rocket, Rocket Flare is just a bit Rocket short. Hits. Feeling it necessary to probably fight. Hookshot comes through to the back lines. They've got the cogs that push this Phoenix, but Dust, he's already dead. They'll okay, get the trade in TMing, but that's not an equal exchange. No, I'm not really surprised that he wants to pick it up almost mm. immediately after finishing off Blink Dagger and Deso. So, oh, Somnus, there's a haste rune. Tokinesis, and they've got the lockdown right now on POW, but FY in some trouble. The Solid Guardian comes out. Tianming getting low. The Fettergraph Draft is going to be used with the Supernova drop down right next to the Chronosphere that's going to be placed on top of Somnus. They get the kill out of the Templar Assassin. They can't crack this egg. FY is going to be made into an omelet, and so is Chalice if he's not too careful. Lou comes into the fight. The damage on the emo, but there's the time walk out. They've got a Spirit Vessel on him, and Lou's going to die. He tried to turn around and maybe get a Sunder off, but instead he just falls. PYW, he does have a blink dagger and going for the same item build as yeah. you mentioned, Dagon. It's also, I like, I don't mind Dagon here because it's my carapace. There it is. That is the combo that they needed. Chalice is going to be burned out and killed off with that chain light or that with that arc lightning. Nor does sustain. There's what one sun ray, but that's about it. Hopper gonna have a smoke broken. There's the dust. It's on the Nyx assassin. Tiamming getting low already. Mind flare as well as the wrath of nature. Zook they mech him up. Hook shot on a two. Sword Guardian's gonna be dropped down on both of them, but he's got the heavenly jump to get out of the cogs. I don't know if it's gonna matter. They've got the telekinesis on a dust. He's still alive. PYW ends up dead first. There goes Dust. Now Chow's trying to fight with BKB going after Emo, but he's gonna throw down that Chronosphere. Who oh, oh, walks into it? They can't get the egg off. They'll lose QIQX. They've only lost Chow so far. Time walk over. Zeal trying to TP out. They've got the cogs. They'll push him out of the TP. They'll get the kill. And four heroes dead on the side of IG. Like just even like a half a second of silence is gonna cause issues chalice because he's got bkb in seven seconds but there's the stun sunray on the fy he might not be so fortunate he's got the time walk out chalice now running forward knowing he's got the bkb coming off cooldown they're gonna look over at emo as well as dust they're kind of caught between a rock and a hard place because here comes somnus they go to the hook shot they've got themselves as well as the cons that pushes emo they get the kill out of this faceless void and now they're gonna look for more zeal trying to tp out he's gonna do so and so will qiqx Oh, no, he won't melt strike one shot. See you later. Let me get more charges on that desolator. So right now, all good for Azure up 8,000 net worth. Where does the comeback start for IG? I would say not get caught here on Emo. They've 
got the cogs, they'll surround him and they'll get the kill. Free movement, oh. Starbreaker. While that's all going on, PYW gonna drop to Lou, and Lou doesn't even need to use meta to get that kill. Look at this, Chalice v Zeal. Solar Guardian trying to leave, but the Chronosphere is gonna be dropped down onto the Dawnbreaker, who will eventually die. Lou's sticking on him. And he's gonna be following him into the gate. Oh, hook shot, whoa, went with it! With the time walk! They're gonna steal the time walk. They've got that, <laughs> that trap down with the silence, but Emo's still trying to get out of this one. They have the vision, but they don't have a way to stop the TP. They get QIQX. Launch settings. It's gonna go. It's gonna follow. Oh, Even what? if you like blink, use a time walk. Time walk back. He's surviving. Now they're gonna look over at Dust Seal thinking about TPing him, but he already knows that this guy might be just dead on a screen already. Time walk in. Tell him he says Emo's courier dies again with the ulti orb. Emo! I like how you laugh at your own joke after. Um, I laughed at you laughing very quietly. They They've got the silence, and he's going to try and time walk away. So we're going to get used. They've got the break on him. Chow's thinking with him, the Starbreaker. But a good stun coming in from QIQX. That's enough to keep Emo alive with the time walk. But look at the damage coming out of PYW. They've got another one going their way as FY gets credit for that. Look at him. Oh, my. Okay, FY. We get it, you're good at this hero, <laughs> that was amazing. Solar Guardian's gonna come out over mid while he's going to just distract that Nyx Assassin. The egg goes off, the time walk out, they've got the cogs down, they're still trying to go, they've got themselves the trap, the silence is up, Emo, they're gonna kill him in the face of Void, they're gonna pop the BKB on Lou, and look over QIQX. I'll take it a second, it's a double kill for Lou to finish off TM Ming, as Dust gets a kill there with that arc light. Still gonna respect the damage coming up from Dust. Oh, trap down, meld, sunder, and down goes Dust. Another kill here for Lou. There's the impale landing as well as the Dag and Mind Flare combo on a Chalice, but it's not enough to get the kill onto the Dawnbreaker. They're going to buy back on the Phoenix. That's not enough, though. They're going to need a little bit more, and Emo doesn't want to buy back, so mid-set of racks while also committing the buyback on QIQX, who doesn't have Supernova. But they could still go bottom. Nyx with the Impale, and Lou, and now no sunder for 10 seconds. Take of the Aegis, can they get anything more? Chalice not working with a lot of health, but enough to get the kill on a PYW with the help of Sonnus. Sprout again, Telekinesis from FY to throw Lu onto the low ground. Lock onto one target and kill it because they have Lu. Abyssal available on Dawnbreaker as well. Use that Thunder God's Wrath and they will not be getting a kill onto the Terror Blade, but Chrono! EKB, Solar Guardian gonna be dropped down. They'll evacuate the Chrono. Hookshot's actually gonna split the seams and miss. Icarus dive off to the side while loses that Sunder on the Dust. They're gonna chase. They're gonna look for everything they can to finish off this game. They're gonna kill into the Dust, take up the Zeus. Now Zeal's next on the menu. Spirit Vessel on him. Chow's moving forward. FY with the Blink as well as the Fade Bolt. They get the kill into Zeal. It's gonna be a second one dead with no buyback. Tokenesis with a Melt Strike. They've got a third in BYW. And now the top tier three in the set of racks are gonna be in trouble. But they'll glyph to hold him on. There's no BKB on Pemper Assassin. Maybe they could get the kill there, but immediate Solar Garden from Chalice. And, and they just call GG. Like, so, yeah. yeah. Does Ray get the victory 2 0 over IG? Not really a surprise. I feel like IG had good drafts. There was nothing wrong with their drafts in both of these games.